since these wires are too long, I decided I'm going to go ahead and form a loop in this that will act like a uh, choke and help RF from coming back down the feed line. So I've got one, two, three turns here. I think I'll tape that together too. Okay, there's a little mini choke. Go ahead and tape this to the mast. And I'll do the same thing on the other end here. Getting a little warm out here today, but uh, not like it has been. It's been 103, 105 degrees the last few days, and today I think it's only supposed to get to 90, so it'll be better. But it's still warm when you work on the sun. Okay, what we do is hook up our feed line. Again, I have a BNC adapter to make this work. <clears throat> I have the radio hooked up over there. I can hear it beeping already. It's on the uh, it's on the beacon. Okay, let's back up and I'll get this set back up. Now that I have it set up in the air, again, this is just a temporary mast. There's what it looks like. Top loop, got the little choke coil up there. Goes down to the T connector where the feed line hooks in, the other stub line comes down to the, the second loop down there again with a little choke and it goes over and hooks up to the radio I'm going to go ahead and hook up the antennas to uh, the analyzer to begin with to kind of see where I'm at okay and I'm going to adjust this uh, down to about 144 and it looks like at a little lower frequency we're, we're resonant and where our target frequency is we're, we're really close it's almost 50 ohms and it's 1 to 1 SWR so I'm going to do some adjustment on the antenna a little bit before I uh, before I hook it up to the radio the only thing to remember here is that if you make an adjustment on one antenna, you have to make it on the other antenna. They both have to be equal. Okay, I made a slight adjustment. I moved the the strap on the um, antenna element out a little bit further from the feed point by maybe a quarter of an inch, and I 
push the uh, gamma tube out oh maybe an eighth of an inch just to reduce the capacitance a little bit and you'll notice that it says it's one to one now we're very close to 50 ohms if I change the frequency here and you watch the meter down here going up you can see that it it dips right around the target frequency which is right what I want so I'm ready to hook it up to the radio and try it out okay we're hooked back up to the radio I'm at the same frequency I was before at the 144 230 and the reason I chose that frequency is close to where I want to be and there's usually nobody on that frequency I don't hear anybody I'm gonna switch over to FM okay I've uh, switched it over to FM we're at the right frequency here I'm going to key up and watch the meter we're just about right let's switch it to SWR Wow I'm keying up and I can't even see it move so that is an excellent match uh, this is N6TWW testing Let's look at uh, forward power and reflected power. So I'm on power forward, and that's uh, that's 20 watts. 20 watts forward, and uh, about 1.05. Oh, excuse me, zero point. I don't know. It's it's next to nothing. The meter hardly moves one watt is all the way over to here so it's maybe 20th of a watt and 60 ww so um at this point the antenna is pretty much adjusted i still need the the t adapter the correct t adapter and i'll have to go up on the regular mast but the elements are built We'll give another shot of it here in a minute and um, adjust it. And again, the uh, weed eaters are going in the background. Weed eaters, lawnmowers, helicopters, airplanes, cars. Whatever can interfere with the audio in this video, it's been done.